As you can see, this is my new No More Stinky Monkeys dot com t-shirt. Perfect to start the new year. I always worried that it might happen one day. That I would buy tickets to a concert so far in advance that I'd forget to go. It never happened, but it almost did Monday night. I didn't even buy them that far in advance. In fact, I only bought them Friday, December 26th. On Christmas Eve, I was going through an email from my favorite nightclub, B.B. King's in Times Square, and reading about upcoming events. One was a show for 1224, a Trans-Siberian Orchestra a tribute band. I always wanted to see TSO, but never could get anyone else interested in going. Now seeing concerts by myself is no big thing. I've been doing it for almost 25 years. But a Christmas-themed show seemed like something I'd want to share with someone. But I told my wife about it, and she said, you should go. It was for Monday, the last night of my five-day weekend. I love carrying the Christmas spirit along with its music with me, all the way until Little Christmas on January 6th. So I said, hell yeah, I'm going. And I bought the ticket online. Our printer isn't working right, so I emailed it to Barbara at work for her to print down on Monday. While she was working, I went to see two movies Monday afternoon and enjoyed both of them. When I got home, I was about to change into my house sweats when she asked me what I was doing. I said, get ready to relax. She says, what time are you leaving for your show? Oh my God, I said, is that tonight? I forgot all about it. I had a million things on my mind, tried to squeeze in the most out of my rare day off that I could, and I completely forgot about the show. And thank God she printed the ticket and reminded me. Or I would have been sitting on an easy chair at 9.30 saying to myself, I should be doing something right now, but what? Well, at 6.30 I left for the city, got caught in horrendous traffic around the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, and found a free parking spot on 45th and 10th. I ran back to the theater on 42nd and uh, Street near 8th Avenue. It was a gorgeous late December night with the temperature around 40 degrees and clean air. I took pictures of the lights in Times Square with my new cell phone camera and they came out great. I got to the Jazz and Blues Club, went down to the basement where the stage is, walked through the doors, and the place was packed, nearly sold out, which is about 300 people. But this was for a tribute band to a group, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. This was a tribute band for a group called Trans-Siberian Orchestra that many people haven't even heard of. I got there just in the nick of time, they came on stage. I was kind of caught unaware as well, because I was seeing a tribute band of a group I'd never seen live, and I don't even know any TSO records. I went strictly because I loved their stuff on the radio. My biggest mistake was confusing them with Mannheim Steamroller, another hard rock and Christmas themed band. But that's alright, because 1224 Rock BB Kings on this fifth night of Christmas. For $25 I got to see a show of a modern band, and they played nearly note for note with that, that band. I got to see them just 60 feet away from the stage. You can't duplicate that. 1224 apparently has a big following, and many of them came up to New York with them on a bus for the show. For $37, you could have a table seat with a $10 drink minimum, but instead of sitting around strangers, I stood at the bar the whole night and didn't have to engage in uncomfortable small talk. I drank my pints of Stella Artois and watched this large man named Cornelius Goodwin in a tuxedo come on stage and start telling the story of this one magical Christmas Eve night when a young girl came into a Bowery bar and got some old drunks excited about life again. Among the things I didn't know about TSO is that their show is a Christmas rock opera with this background story that filters through the night. Of the man who walks into the bar and of the bartender who tells him this magical story about how the drinkers would all go outside to see the little girl and when she would leave no footprints in the snow. It turns out she was a Christmas angel sent to save them. All right, so I knew about half the songs they play from the radio and heard the other half for the first time. New music is hard to get into at a live show, but they made it easy. The singers were all good. There were five of them. The rock band was excellent, especially the lead guitarist and this amazing pianist named Jason Santos. And the string section of violins and cello tied the whole thing together. I'm usually a harsh critic of instrumentals and long solos, but in this case I actually enjoyed the musical interludes more than the singing. Because I didn't know the songs, I didn't know the words. And it's hard to follow a singer when you can't understand what they're singing about. But I know a great guitar solo when I hear one, and Letty, Kuchin Letty Kuzinski is a phenomenal guitarist. Song after song, he blew me away with his incredible solos. At one point in the middle of the one solo, he jumped off the four-foot stage onto the floor, and continued playing as he walked all the way through the crowd to the back, right alongside the bar, where I could have patted him on the back as he went by, but didn't for fear of ruining the moment. 
I've seen lots of guitar tricks in my life, but never this one. And I wanted the crowd to explode with applause, but it was admittedly a kind of dead crowd. I don't believe there were many New Yorkers there, and I'm sure that I'm not sure how many were real TSO fans either. I'd say most were families of tourists looking for something Christmassy that night. People with teens and small kids who applauded politely but didn't give the love back that the band poured out from on stage. While watching one song, a young woman stood next to me and was snapping pictures of the band with her expensive zoom lens camera. She reminded me of the daughter from Gilmore Girls, and she started talking about the band. I said, are you a fan or are you related to them? She said her husband was Kevin Riley, the rhythm guitarist. I said, wow, when he played leads, he was quite good as well. She said they were from Hazleton, Pennsylvania, and had never played at B.B. King's before. When on stage, the band said that they had stood on street corners handing out flyers all day for the show. But when people, when they asked for a show of hands of people who had those flyers, no one sitting there had, had ever seen any of these flyers. I read that the band had been doing this for seven years, and two nights before, they played in Syracuse, New York, and in the same venue that TSO had played in years ago. So they were psyched that they had achieved this much. The wife told me to make sure I was there for the second act because they played a classic rock set that includes a killer immigrant song. She was right. I said I would, and she was off taking more pictures. And I wondered if she left any footprints in the snow. As it turns out, my favorite singer and dancer in the show was Bobby Kuczynski, Lenny's wife. She did a great job singing a Journey song during the rock set toward the end of the night, but everyone was good. And to make sure I knew that, there was a young fan standing next to me at the bar who had seen TSO in concert three times already. He praised 1224's musicianship, but wished that the lead female singer was a black gospel type and not the Hearts Ann Wilson type that they had doing that part. He also wished they told more of the story about the old bar like TSO does in their show. To be honest with you, I could have done less with the story and more with the music. The story only slowed the show down for me. As for my favorite songs of the night, other than the immigrant song were Christmas Eve Sarajevo, Christmas Canon, and one of my all-time favorites, This Christmas Day, which makes me get goosebumps whenever I hear it in like jewelry commercials. So if you get a chance to see them when they come to, t to town, take it. You can look for them on my no more stinky monkeys what dot com website for a link to their site. At the end of the night, you'll feel like you had some fun and had some class. And the way any great Christmas show should make you feel. Happy New Year from the Predator.